What was it about Last Light, this project and these characters that really attracted you to it, especially you, Matthew, because you're coming off quite a little hiatus here from acting. So I imagine you really connected with it. I did. Um, you know, I, I think that the, the the story elements and the narrative elements were were I was very much attracted to that. I was very much attracted to the to the sort of macro backdrop of the series, which is this this oil crisis. Um, but more, even more than that, the 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 nucleus of this family in the center of it, and how it's is separated this family, a family that is is a very beautiful family and tight and loves each other very much, has some has some cracks in it. The relationship between Andy and Elena is a, a little bit strained when we meet them at the top of the series. Um, so I was really drawn to this notion of this family. A family is incredibly important to me. I think it's important to all of us. It's it's such a, a common denominator to the to the human species. And so um, I feel like um, I was really drawn to that. I, I wanted this family to, to to survive and to be reunited and to have grown from the experience. And yet we have this backdrop of a world in which it's it's clear that our reliance on fossil fuels is uh, has got to change. Um, also on a personal level, I wanted to executive produce for the first time in my in my career. Um, I had kind of completed a bucket list of projects that I wanted to do in 2014. And so I felt like I had sort of accomplished what I set out to accomplish and was gonna focus my energies on other things. The notion that I'd never executive produced was still sort of there. And uh, so this project was going to give me the opportunity to do that with my managerial partner, Bill Choi, who's uh, my manager, but also more importantly, a very good friend. And we have similar taste and uh, we wanted the opportunity to collaborate together and to, um, to work on uh, more creative elements rather than uh, sort of uh, logistics. And um, so it, it, it touched on all the things that it was that, that I needed and was looking for to, to, to work again. For me, what I mean, it's it's kind of everything that Matthew just said. It's got I feel I felt like this story has everything, you know, it's. Um, the, you have to have high drama and you have to for me, you have to have high drama and you have to care about the characters. So you have to have high drama, you have to have love, really, for me to really buy into and, and root for a story and want to know what happens to these people. And I feel like we have that in bucket loads on, on both sides. You know, not only are, are all our characters, but in, in, the, in the midst of a global crisis that's threatening to bring down the infrastructure of the world, at the heart of that is our family, you know, our, our family of four who are a sort of headstrong teenage daughter and a, and a, a young son with you know, difficult health issues and um, a couple who are under strain, you know, that their marriage is a little under strain. They've, they've got a lot to deal with and they're dealing with it in different ways. And, you know, what reminds them of their love is, is this emergency situation. And hopefully it doesn't always take as an emergency situation to remember what's important in life, but um, it's sort of, you know, it really brings that home to all of them. And I feel like the story ultimately has a lot of hope as well. Yes, it's a warning, but there's a lot of hope and there's a lot of humanity in our story. And, um, and it's a cracking watch as well. <laughs> Matthew, were you in Abu Dhabi in the desert scenes? Yes. Because I was at the very end of the first episode when you're like in that sandstorm, it looked so real. Was that real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we were uh, we were we were shooting in Alien, actually, which is um, in Arabic is the spring. And it's a town uh, outside of Abu Dhabi in Dubai. It's uh, um, actually a couple hours uh, across the desert. And there are sand dunes there that are just the most spectacular thing. I mean, it was just mind blowing. It was incredible. I was so excited for that portion of the shoot. I couldn't wait to see those landscapes. And they did not disappoint. I, I, it also is just such an, and we were there in the winter, right? So, I mean, the temperatures were very moderate, high seventies, eighties. I, I mean, in the summer, it's just uh, apparently like, you know, 125 degrees. It's like, I don't know how anybody, it's so intense. It, it's so intense how much it just drives you out. Like uh, you have to 
pound liquid and you just can't keep up with the dehydration. Um, that was an amazing portion of the shoot. I was so fired up to be there and see that part of the world and um, the imagery that we got from that and um, using the drones out there and, and uh, all that footage was just beautiful. Um, that's, that's Denny Gordon, uh, just amazing, amazing woman, amazing director and uh, just uh, a force of nature. And she managed to, to, to get us out there and get all that done, it's just amazing. I can only imagine what it was like taking a shower after filming in a sandstorm. <laughs> yeah, that, those, those, yeah, those days were, I mean, literally, I would get back to the hotel and I just would immediately plop down and it was just so, so exhausted. Just <laughs> those days were so long. Um, and yes, lots of, uh, lots of sand to get out of all kinds of places in your body in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> Now it looks like um, as the series, you know, as we get deeper into the you know second, third, fourth, fifth episodes, there's some more action. Did you guys get to do any action scenes while filming? Oh yeah, we did all of it pretty much. I mean, not all of it. That's not true. I mean, we have an amazing double that did a lot of of, of things that were necessary for me. Mm -hmm. um, it was one of the shockers. Uh, you you read stuff on a page, and you see what the action sequence is. And in your mind, you're putting those images together and you're like, oh my God, this is gonna be amazing. And then you get into shooting it and it's like three times harder than you thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. And um, so uh, we did, Joanna and I did a lot of our action stuff, but uh, there were portions of my work that needed to be um, doubled by somebody that was in better shape than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I loved doing all, all the action stuff that I that I got to do. Again, you know, I had to double also for certain bits that insurance won't let us do. And it did, I stupidly made the mistake of choosing very inappropriate footwear for a lot of my action scenes. And I rue the day that I ever do that again, because I thought I should know better by now. But I was running down cobbled streets and stuff and all sorts of things going on and having all sorts happening with sort of Louboutin boots on, which are beautiful, but um, they're not a very high heel, but there was quite a chunky heel on them and running on cobbles and jumping over things. And yeah, it wasn't the most uh, practical choice of footwear, but they look great. So there we go. <laughs> a much different day on set than Downton Abbey. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But that's the fun of it. That's the fun of the job, so. Now, lastly, what would you hope um, the messages or the lesson that people take away after watching Last Light? Well, I mean, I hope that they, um, well, number one, I mean, I just hope they enjoy the ride and, and that they, and that they buy it all and that it feels real and, and, um, and propulsive and, and, you know, like it, that it's, that it's, that it feels like a ride for them. I, I hope that they also relate very much to this family getting back together and that they're rooting for these characters and that they care for these characters and that they, um, and that they relate to that within this this world that the story is 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 set in. I I hope that they walk away from it with the realization like, wow, you know, fossil fuels. I mean, this is how reliant we are on oil. And and I think that everybody's very much aware of that now with what's going on with with the Ukraine and and Russia and Putin. What's what's happening in this 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 horrible war? Um, I think that you know that's that's been a big a big highlight and a big flashlight on the fact of like how energy can be weaponized. And we need to we need to find a way and very quickly both for our ozone layer and climate warming uh, the the climate change. We need to we also need to get off of fossil fuels and onto new energies just because. Um, it, it's being weaponized and uh, and uh, there so I, hopefully the, this, these will be some of the undercurrents that the people that watch the series will will take away from it. But first and foremost, it's it's I hope it's entertaining and I hope they relate to the characters and and the family getting back together again is it feels like um, something that makes them feel co more connected to the people that they love and their family members. Now, Matthew, are we going to see more acting from you after this, or are you going to kind of take a little break again? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to continue. It's been really wonderful to, I was really surprised how much I enjoyed getting back in front of the camera and, uh, and trying my best to bring somebody to life and uh, make it nuanced and layered and 
Uh, it's always been a challenge to me, but I enjoyed that challenge more than I, I think I ever have. And um, I'm gonna be looking to do more of it for sure. Hey guys, we got a new show on the E! News YouTube channel all about celebrities and their cars. It's called Drive, and you can check out the first episode with NASCAR champion Joey Logano right here. And don't forget to come back every Monday for all new episodes.